I had somebody order DoorDash in the middle of my set, and he was asking people what they want. I'm like, damn, I'm on stage, bro. And he's like, shut up. And you know what I did? What'd you do? Shut up. <laughs> I was in Memphis. <laughs> We ain't had no guns. I mean, well, I don't know if we could say that. We ain't had nothing. Bop, 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 bop. Oh my God. That scared the shit out of me. Yes, sir. We are back with another great episode of yep. We Playing Spades. I'm Desi Banks. I'm Walker Flocker Flame. And oh my God, today. Today. Who, who about to bring in right now? Who we bringing in? My dog, Funny Marco. What it do, y'all? It's your boy, Funny Marco. I'm here with my boy, Dwight. Dwight. What's up? And today, we playing Spades. Hey Marco, we playing spades, ace high, man. Ace means the ace is the highest, the king of spades, queen of spades, jack of spades, ten of spades. We giving y'all black cards. You do some crazy shit. You get it to We taking that black card. Right, can way, you explain? Bro. I couldn't understand what Black card means if you do anything wrong, like reneging, it take trying to take something back, you're talking across the table, we're going to take this. You're no longer I try black to say no it fast because I want to yeah. cheat. Okay. All right, ace high. You can play, right? I'm yeah, sure. yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. He, he good. Yeah. He, yeah, we, we, yeah, he good. I know Yeah, we're going to teach yeah. you as we play. So and, no, and, we gonna go, we and what's your partner name? Uh, Faze. Faze? Where you from, Faze? Name Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. That ain't your name. That, that's my name. That's your name? My name Dwight. Make your name Dwight. Joke no, I, I, I just make your name Dwight. Your name Dwight. Dwight what? Again. I met him at the mall. <laughs> Dwight what? Williams. Dwight Williams. You met him at the mall? Yeah. On the way here. Oh, uh, you know I play Spades and Hell yeah. I was like, come on. <laughs> okay. What the fuck? So you just met him today? What the fuck here? I thought you so you just like picked up a stranger today? That's somebody you don't know? That hard. That hard. That's different, Marco. That hard. Well, we finna see how different you is with this space game. Let's do it. So how everything been going with you, man? You know, I see you on tour now. You're on the road doing some stand up. Yeah. You know, you my brother. You know, uh, we've been done, you know, we done done some shows together. You know, can't feel my shows and, you know, rocked out. But how has it been feeling, you know, doing your own thing right now? It's it's a challenge. Is it? But you gotta sign up for that. For sure. Yeah, it's definitely a challenge to stand up there. You've been doing it on the internet for so long, is you gotta step it up. Cause that it can die down. For sure. That's his You worrying about the cars. I'm, I'm Yeah, I'm trying to watch him out. I'm saying you trying to talk to me. I'm just talking to what you trying to do. Watch your man. Yeah. All right, how many cars we supposed to have? So this is like Uno. Yeah. Marco, you just yeah. said you know how to play space, man. Don't you goddamn come in here with that bullshit. No worry, we dead ass serious though. He can sit there and try to play. Hey, your uh, podcast, The Brand, ain't it? Huh? Your podcast, The Brand? I don't know, know nothing about podcasts. I don't do podcasts. Just shows. Oh, your show, I mean? Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Your show. Oh, he just tried yeah. you when he said that. Yeah. Man, I, I forgot. You know, I forgot my, my boy. You just bought that $4 million mansion. No, I didn't buy it. Oh, you ain't bought that? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, 4.2. Oh, oh, he told 10. me yesterday. No, he, just, he just told me. Man, who Lambo that is? I ain't got nothing. Can we cuss on here? You can say what you want to say. Yeah, we shut the hell up about that. All right, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, we, we sorry. All right. We know what's so going on. So who go first? All right, so break. But we I'm going to talk about your career right now. Okay. Have you ever had a time in your career right now you've been on stage? Have you ever had a boo moment? Have people been walking out? Like, you know, it's always a thing when it comes to comedians, you know, doing it on stage versus, you know, doing it online. Like, what's the difference, between, you know, what you feel? I mean, I went to Memphis and had somebody order DoorDash in the middle of my set, and he was asking people what they want. I'm like, damn, I'm on stage, bro. And he's like, shut up. And you know what I did? What'd you do? Shut up. <laughs> I was in Memphis. <laughs> we ain't had no guns. I mean, well, I don't know if we could say that. We ain't had nothing. <laughs> you said chuckles? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So was it what I said it was going to be? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Memphis. How was the second show? Uh, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, you left? No, I left. You said fuck that? I didn't say fuck it. I just, so I, that's how your comedy tour been? I know. No, that's just that show. Uh, Everything else been good. What other moment? You ever had a, yeah. another No, no, no. Just besides somebody ordering door. How much time you doing? Uh, 45 minutes. And it's your go-to. Yeah, you got to throw out a, a diamond. You got a diamond? All right, diamond. Uh, that's over here. 10 over 7 and 8. So that means I won, right? No. Nah, Until he's got to play. Yeah, he going to beat you. And we going to win that book. I ain't going to beat him. I did? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I won. We, we trying to get a yard, bro. We I mean, they both really got their black card took for real, for real. What's the black card? I can put that out anytime. No, y'all don't think nice. Do y'all got any uh, like you reverse card or I can flip This ain't no Uno, my boy. This could be the part of the show we call Renee. Yeah. This is a question. This ain't got nothing to do with the game. What is something that you would take back in life? Like you feel like, you know, you should have, you know, not did that, you know. Uh yeah. What's one thing that you you hate? That I did. Nothing legal. Oh. Keep that up. Cause it's a lot of shit I did. But what's one thing like, what you, you think can I should remember? Say? What you think I should say? I I I ain't never been in your life like that, so right. I don't know. We did just meet. Yeah, 
I just met you yesterday. What do you hate? I'm just going to go off your topic. That is my topic. I mean, that's why I'm asking for your answer. Oh. Um, well, I had a chance to, like, graduate from a special need class, and I didn't do it. And then I went to the real-life class where I was supposed to be, and I didn't graduate from there. So my mom was like, I was trying to make it easier for you. So she sent you what? It was too fast. Hmm? What she sent you? No, I was in a, like, it was a class of four, including me. I saw you in the physio, uh, the, the specials. Special I mean, we was all cool. You had a helmet? No, nah, I didn't have a helmet. I wasn't that bad. What, you had a, a, a motorcycle helmet? No, nah, we had a dog. In the class? Yeah. What was the name of your dog? Tricks. So career-wise, though, bro, you know, who's who's been somebody that inspired you in comedy, you know, got you, you know, doing what you're doing right now? Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. Who's really inspired? Like, me? don't give us them them bum ass. Like, answers we need you real. Nah, nah, did us, did you us. gave the internet, bro. I seen that shit, bro. You, you, as soon as you give an answer, I want to know three quotes and why. So come with it. Don't even got them. <laughs> no, I'm, they, no they, I'm, the I'm thinking. I'm thinking about who really inspired me. Uh, Dave Chappelle. Okay, cool. I like that. That's a good one. So was it? He, Yo, he, was he the one that, that actually made you want to start doing comedy? <laughs> mm. No, I was struggling in school. Really did. Because, like, when you struggle but and you accept who you are, your flaws, it's like they can't mess with you. But when you try to deny shit, like, y'all probably been through it, like, having hard times with spelling and reading. Y'all been through that, right? So the fact that I went through that and then I accepted it, it was just kind of like my clapbacks had to be funny. How was it being a child, Marco, growing up? Yeah, I was. I grew up in Section 8 apartments. Okay, how was that? There you go. How was your friends? Uh, You know what? We, uh... They was cool. I had some cool friends. It was a lot of like a lot of drug stuff going on. A lot of stuff was going on in this complex. You think it bothered you? Like what is it, you know? Yeah, it reminded me of like if you could put my life in a cartoon it would be the PJs. Mm. I like that. The PJs? Yeah. So you 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 grew up with the roaches too? Yeah, I did. What was your right. apartment like? How bad was y'all roaches though? Crazy. Yeah, fast too. Especially when you cut the lights on. The roaches getting y'all pizza and stuff? You cut them out. You Peanut butter. Roaches? Have you ever seen the roaches? Cereal. Well, our roaches, like the roaches, I had got inside my shoe, the inside of my shoe, the insole, and they used to get out when I was at school. Oh, yeah. Your oh, shoes yeah. are stank, Marco. That's what that means. No, I roaches got my cousin here. Yeah. It did? And y'all Ro had to go a to the hospital? I on my nose though one time. It's still in there? No, nah, it's gone. Oh. I, I can see why it I went in there. I sneezed, I sneezed it out. <laughs> Why you say why, why you say that? Got a big nostril. I got a big nostril. Yeah. You think so? This is it's following suit, and mm. this is talking about uh, what's uh one of your unpopular opinions. I feel like Nickelodeon better than Cartoon Network. I, I like that too. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, PBS Kids is there too, cause that's when you ain't got no cable. For they sure. Was there for sure. Me, that was like, always there. Yeah, PBS for sure, is always there for sure. me. Dragon Tales, all, all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Teletubbies came. PBS out is fire though. Yeah, yeah I know. That's when we, if you had PBS, you were struggling. You were struggling. Yeah, Reading Rainbow on there. Yeah. Did it help you grow up as a kid? Yeah, yeah. That's the shit. And what's that girl that had them freckles? And she had that clock. That's back in Captain Planet days. Ain't that the Magic School Bus nigga? No, it's a girl. She had like the hair down. She's had a couch. It was a couch. Everything was under the couch. Oh, you was hot. I can't think of that shit. <laughs> no, this is a real show. I don't know. On PBS? I think it came on now. Damn. Yeah. Was Arthur white or black? He was black. How, the girl you talking about, she had pigtails? Oh, you talking about DW? Yeah. No, nah, not DW. No. Nah. Oh. I think you talking about Darkwing Duck. Yeah. Oh. No, I'm talking about Arthur's sister, DW. I ain't mean to stand you up on none of your shows. You like my brother. You know what I mean? I just had to let you know that, bro. I'm just saying. Yeah, he one of the guys that give you a number and then be like, text me. And you text him, he be like, oh. <laughs> That's some bullshit, bro. Yeah, nah. I mean, all right. I called in text. He I like, called you too, nigga? Nah, he didn't. You moved yeah. to L.A.? I text him. He you got like, that big ass house? I text him. He was like, call me. I called him. He like, text me. <laughs> That's me. I'm waiting on you, though. I already, the, I already went. Oh, you did? Yeah. Why well, you know, don't I call him, though? You got to go. What y'all throw up? I don't even about to tell you what we throw up. Just go. Uh, But yeah, this just to stand up and really and get into the... Uh, Thanks, thanks for letting me know. What are you doing? That's a spade. I keep telling you. Figure it up. How it work? You know how it work? Shit crazy. You trying to cheat too. Is this why people be getting into fights over these games?
So nobody in your family play, play no, spades? No, they did. They played spades. But that's when they start fighting and yelling, so I just stayed out the way. You know, when it comes to fighting, I just removed myself. I got bullied in high school. You did? Yeah, yeah. You big. But not in, not, I mean, middle school. Who, what was his name? Her. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I was scared of her. Dead ass serious. Where she at now? But I don't know what. Uh, she baby got there walk home, boy. I wouldn't have walked. Was she like Queen Latifah? Nah, she like set it off. Bigger than her. Uh-huh. She like you'll be my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And uh, no, she asked my brother's friend. Excuse me, running back. It was a girl in a middle school, and it was in sixth grade. I was in fifth grade. I seen my uh, my brother friend come home crying. I'm like, damn, what happened to bro? So goddamn, he said it was a girl in school that asked her. Yo, I want you to be my boyfriend. He told her I sleep on it. She punched him in the chest and said, "Let me know when you wake up." Mm-hmm. So I'm like, "God damn!" I never forgot her. She did it to my older brother too, and he got them. He he jugged her. Who you know, oh, got away from her? So the next year I come, she's like, "Oh no, nah, Nikon, you never told me. Ooh, you never told me you had a brother. He's cute." And I looked at her, and she grabbed me. She's like, you going to be my boyfriend? I was like, I don't know yet, man. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. And she grabbed me up. And ever since that day, she'll go chase me in, in class, chase me at lunch. She'll fucking wait at my bus after school. I'm dead ass serious. I was just scared to fight her. Bitch was so, big as a motherfucker. You was the one screaming, oh, let's do it. Why don't you just do it? <laughs> you got that. You sure did that shit. Hey, Marco, look, this part of our show is put your bed in. You got any future predictions? On what? You think we're going to be stuck in TikTok forever? Uh, And copycats? Nah, not forever. It's going to be something new. Yeah, everything changed. Like, you know, it's always new iPhones, always new cars. So what you think it's going to go to? Uh, That's going to be... I'm I'm pretty sure it's going to be flying cars next. Yeah, they got got them coming for sure. Yeah. Yeah. They just made a, first, go, a, 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 a new uh, new flying car. Yeah, it's going to be they a flying right car now. for sure. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, I got to take this black car, man. I, I can't even Yeah, that, man. Like, give me that shit, man. How you got to take the black? That's Duh, like, man, that shit count. You done slowed us down. I got to take it, man. I need a bro, <laughs> but I got to take it, man. I got to. Uh, you take it, too, because he was a little slow, too. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you take it. Yeah, all right, give me that shit, man. I'm take everything off. Yeah, man. Oh. We still beat y'all. We got seven books. Yeah, so that's two, three, man. So that means we beat y'all. And that's you... out of three. We whoop y'all ass. I don't know. Twice. Yeah. yeah the second yeah. one was a little. What's the next big trend in comedy? Because, you know, for me, not being a comedian, I've seen Instagram just put comedy back on the map. Mm-hmm. Like, what What you honestly feel like? Like, what's next for comedy? Uh, I say stand up. It took it away from stand up right now because back then they had the Kings of Comedy, oh. uh, Def Jam. We don't got none of that right now. So stand up really got to get back on the map somehow in large groups where people can see multiple at a time. It ain't that. We ain't got that right now. We ain't got the Kings of You know, back then they had the bootleg DVDs and Kings of Comedy and all that. We mm-hmm. ain't got that. We just, you just got to go to Instagram. So who um so who's some of your inspiration right now as far as like who's some of the people you watch to learn from, you know, with stand up and stuff like that? Even right now, I mean I look back at Bernie Mac a lot. Mm-hmm. I watch him just seeing how he is. Man, I wanna say, man, I appreciate you, brother, for coming on the show, getting your ass whooped in space. No, but we didn't win it all? No, you did not. It's, no, it's, it's we you cook. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Marco. Yeah. Thanks. But anything you wanna, you know, leave to the people, man, one thing you could tell the people out there that's that's watching, that's trying to become something. Uh, it's definitely a mindset. You got to set your mind to it. And whatever you set your mind to, you got to stick to it. And know, like, whatever you do is like a plant. You just got to keep watering it. Before you know it, it's going to be a tree. Yeah, brother. That's what I'm talking about. Well, thank or, a big, or a big plant. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You a big plant right now? You still water yourself? Huh? Are you a big plant right now? You still water yourself? It's like a little seed. Okay, cool. Oh, you got a lot to go? Yeah. Okay. How big you want? I'm just dropping them down right now. For sure. You know. Using Fiji water. Thank you, my brother. Thanks, Marco. And that's another great episode of We Plan Space, (laughs) featuring my dog, Funny Marco. (laughs) 